I can't believe it's been over a year and a half since I did that Atmoc window review. And you know, I still enjoy looking at it every single day. There's been some great new videos added. Uh, there's a lot of lame ones in there as well, but there's a new feature that's just come up, which I think may be the ground changer for the Atmoc window. I'm going to share with you how it works. First of all, it's in beta, and you have to be invited by Atmoc. I was originally concerned with them that you know they had a lot of ideas that were going to take some time to go through on their roadmap, but they've done a really good job of going through, adding features, and now this final feature is one that I've been looking forward to for since it started, and that is the ability to put on my own video clips. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, this is the important part. You go to New Project, and where this comes up, we'll call this that moth aspect theory lake but normal 1080p is 1920 by 1080 and we want almost the exact opposite of that so uh, we want 1080 by 1920 because it's vertical you can go to custom and now I can set this to 1080 by 1920. So this may change depending on your software, but this is how it works in Final Cut Pro. Normal rendering doesn't really matter. It's all, all the defaults work fine. What you'll see now is that when I bring this in to edit, it's in a vertical format as opposed to a horizontal format, but it doesn't fill out the space obviously because it's got all this blank space now. So now I have to edit this. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to go to the transform function here, which allows me to drag and change this. So I'm gonna pull it up. So it just passes the edges of the boxes and then I'm gonna square that up and hit done. Now, if I look at this time here, I'm, I have 15 seconds of this uh, frame. That's not enough for the minute minimum. It's a little bit extreme too. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna retime it. And I'm gonna slow that down to 25%. And now that is one minute and one second. That's just enough time to be allowed. Uh, if you don't follow the size of this, and if you don't follow the time of being less than a minute, uh, more than a minute, less than 15 minutes, less than five gigabytes in size, Atmoff will kick you out. You'll upload, but it won't, it won't work. Work file, Prairie Lake, again, 1080p by 1920, and it's going to my desktop. How do you upload? Okay. So I had an invitation from Atmoff that said that I could participate in the beta version. He says, if you're ready, click here and get started. So you click on that. Unless you're Japanese, you want to go to the bottom here and click in the corner where it has English. And then that makes more sense. Then there's your email. It's going to send you a verification code. I just got it here. That, and paste it in there. Sign in. And again, it reminds you that it has to be in 1080p by 1920. Select the file. My desktop here. So I'm just going to drag it over and upload. If for some reason it didn't like it, it will now tell you that uh, it didn't upload. But because this falls under the size, the gigabyte size, the time frame, and the format, it passes. It will then process at the Atmoth website, and then you need to go back in and check the status on it, saying it's preparing a preview right now and it's not ready yet. Click on status again just to check on that. There we go, edit title and details. You can preview to make sure that you like what you've seen. You can, if you have sound with it, you can turn the sound on or off. And you can see that it's, it's scrolling through there right now. And I can quickly have a look. So that's okay, I go to next. I give it a name now. The title in Japanese, you may not know, the title in English. So this is where it's really handy. Uh, in Safari to do something here. So I'm just going to go click on Safari. English to Japanese. And there you go. Translator comes right up. Fairy Lake, BC. And there's the Japanese translation. So I'll just copy that. Copy.
copies to that within the Japanese title and the English title is Fairy Lake BC. Countries in Canada, I guess you hadn't figured that out. Location English, then Hoover Island BC. I'm going to just take that, go back to my translator, stick it in there. That's the Japanese for that. Copy that, go back to this location in Japanese. There you go, fantastic. Next, they're gonna have a look at this and confirm that it's correct. They probably have an English to Japanese translator in their website somewhere. Visibility, right now, it's only for my app mock window. We're in beta testing right now. I can't click that on or off. Uh, it says here available on View Store coming soon. So maybe you can sell these things. I don't know, they're interesting. Some verification will occur, it can't be edited, and the content will be checked by the app mock staff. I'm all cool with that and I go to next. Yay, finalizing, back upload. Next we go to a tablet or iPhone where the Atmoff app will control the window. Hit menu on the top left and scroll to the left to show the icon for your account. This is very, very important. When you tap and select your icon, all the regular videos that you can view will be there. But now you have a new row called uploads. And those uploads are the videos that you have made. You can select them. Occasionally you'll get an error message. Just back up out of it again and slide your finger carefully along and you'll be able to go through all of the videos that you have edited and uploaded. Because you're in charge of your own videos, you can do some great stuff like I slowed this hummingbird down to half its regular speed. I'm making a series of weather videos to match the conditions outside and this particular day it's raining. How about this awesome video of a heron feeding and catching a fish? The whole video is about seven minutes long or this cool time lapse of clouds or you could do a night lapse of moving stars and the moon going through the sky and you can do a better job looking for vertical format imagery this is a drone approaching a waterfalls and I think it looks better vertically than it does in a conventional horizontal format so great work Atmof I think uh, these are important new features that have made this a much more useful and uh, enjoyable to use window Having our own videos along with the useful widgets that you brought on there have really made this much, much better product than it was a year and a half ago. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with in the future.